Introduction to Adobe Illustrator. When you open Adobe Illustrator, you will get something that looks similar to this. Um, across the top, you have Recent Files. That'll show um, in this area. Your saved files. Your mobile, if you're setting up something for mobile. Web, print, film video, or art and illustration. We want to set up for print. Now, we have letter, A4, legal, and tabloid. These are all different sizes of paper. But we can also set custom sizes, and that's all over here. Right now, the measurement system is set for points. We want to switch this to inches. So we'll switch to inches. Now, what depending on what you're doing, you will set your width and your height for whatever you're doing. If it's for something for a laser engraver, if it's something for a CNC machine, this will be the size of your material. So for my case right now, we're just going to use 8.5 by 11, which is a letter size paper, your normal printer paper. And I'll click Create. Now, the white square is our paper. The gray area is your pasteboard anything that you have on a pasteboard will not print when you hit um, file print so like this text right here right now it's sitting on the pasteboard it will not print if I hit print right now I'd get a white sheet of paper if it's sitting like this this part will print not this part if it's all on now everything prints now, the nice thing about the pasteboard is that you can stick things out here that you're trying to see how they line up or um, how they look on your design of whatever you're doing. Your tools are uh, here on the side. The black arrow is a selection tool. If you just leave your mouse hover over a tool for a minute it will tell you what it is. So this one here is a direct selection tool. It has some other options for you but most of the time you will be using the selection tool. You have some drawing tools like the ellipse and any of these tools that have this little triangle right next to them that is other uh, tools that underneath the tool. So we have, we have a line, we have a star, a polygon, an ellipse, a rectangle. So a rectangle tool lets you draw a rectangle. Now text tool that allows you to apply text. Multiple ways for you to use the text tool. If you just click one time with your mouse it will make a text box with just some generic text inside of it. You can highlight it and you can change the text inside. You can change the font up at the top. Now the nice thing about the font tool on this program is you can also use your arrow keys to cycle through your font until you find something that you like. So let's say I like this one here. Now, because of the way I created this by clicking once, I can resize my text to whatever size I want and stretch it around however I like. If I click the text tool and I click and drag a box and I can type inside of here, I cannot resize the text by dragging. So I avoid clicking and dragging with the text tool. I just click one time, let it fill in, and then I can resize with the, with the selection tool. All right. You have a magnifying tool. It allows you to zoom in and zoom out. So I can zoom in or I can zoom out. These here are your colors. Right now my color is set for a fill of black my stroke going around the line is set for no color. Let's give this a color. Let's say I want it to be red. The stroke is how thick the line is going around the image. And see how that changes? Okay, I'll zoom in on it a little bit more. So I can change the stroke on how well it looks. Now let's say I want the red to be the fill and the black to be the outline. By clicking on the swap button, 
it swaps the colors. All right. So that's these are the main tools that you're going to be using: the colors, the selection tool, the drawing tools, the text tool, and your zoom in and zoom out for the most of the things you're doing here. If you are having any issues, please raise your hand and I'll come around and help you as needed.